Then comes Japan. Now this is, those of you who are students of history, and I'm sure many of you are, realize that World War II in that period of time was a very difficult time in that part of the world. And the Japanese were conquering so many countries in that region. Uh, and there was terrible treatment and exploitation of Korean people by the Japanese uh, in that period of time. But since the war, new generations have come around and efforts have been made to get people to, to feel better about one another. Donald Trump has not helped that situation, and he should, because I believe that a friendship, a working relationship between Japan and South Korea is important. Uh, I think it's critically important. I'm afraid if something goes wrong, Japan will decide they have to build up more military armaments. That's not good for that region. It's better that we are there and keep that under control. We don't want to go back to the military tensions that were just 50 or 60 years ago. You know, if our, if our concern is North Korea and Kim Jong-un and what he might do with his weapons, then we have to understand that all, all of us are vulnerable. The Americans are in South Korea, the South Koreans themselves, uh, the people in Japan, all vulnerable. This man has missiles and nuclear weapons capable of reaching all of these, all of these people at this point. And so it, uh, you know, from my point of view, when we have a break in relationship between South Korea and Japan, that should be a high priority for the President of the United States to say, wait a minute, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. But this President has weakened and attacked all of our alliances. NATO, for goodness sakes. We created NATO after World War II uh, in an effort to stop the spread of communism in the Soviet Union uh, and to be certain that there was no third world war in our lives. And now he attacks our NATO allies. I don't understand this man. Where is he turning for friends? We have proven friends in NATO. We have proven friends in South Korea and in Japan since World War II. Why aren't we dealing with them in those positive terms? His, he is not for diplomacy, he is for tweets. You know, and, and he does five tweets a day and four of them are completely crazy. Uh, and that is how he's trying to govern this country. So we need a grown up, a grown up in this position. And I don't think he has demonstrated that he